more look here's the thing i dogs are mostly like mostly like a very docile the way they show them in movies ki mera kutta aage dekho kaatega be aware of dogs i don't know if you hung out with the dog you know the human race is not the only thing that belongs on this planet uh, in fact uh, we've kicked out a lot of animals to be living in these cities if they live on the streets feed them on the streets uh, and uh, in fact where i live i've seen more people who walk their pet dogs not pick up the dog poop first aid kit for dogs in my car okay i don't expect you to have that because this is over 5 years of feeding dogs that like i i'm practically aware of now which medicine goes for what right uh mm-hmm. but i i would say like you know it that doesn't hurt someone to just keep like a chotu pedigree dry food mm-hmm. there's yeah. vet pack is this dry food you can if you ever see a starving dog and there's a plenty thanks for being Hello. here today uh, you recently took to your instagram to share about an incident where you were feeding strays and what happened and so Correct. can you can you tell us about tell us a bit more about it you know the long version or the short version the short version is uh, my nose is broken now uh, yeah. <laughs> the long version is uh, that uh, he owns a chinese food stall uh, and uh, uh, now a few days back i i hadn't gone my wife had gone and i i was busy with some work and my wife had gone and she taken her brother with her and uh, uh, cuz you need two people you know one person puts makes the plates and the other person feeds it's it's not an easy job right. uh, and uh, she's feeding and it's raining heavily and she's trying to find shelter for these dogs and he's constantly harassing them he's constantly obstructing her uh and he starts abusing her to you know just like terrible misogynistic things and uh, you know he starts making lewd gestures at my wife because you know i think he assumed that because i am not there and i can't you know have that usual conversation try to keep him in check he starts being extremely aggressive with her you know her brother was there her brother stepped in maybe he didn't see her brother my brother, brother stepped in and said look we just trying to feed the dogs stop escalating things he kept you know he kept screaming kept threatening they fed the dogs they got into the car and they drove away they did not want this to become a thing next day uh i went alone to feed so i saw him i said hey man look i know what happened yesterday we should talk about this because this doesn't this does not have to become a thing you cannot endanger my wife's safety you do not get to talk like you know you don't get to talk to my wife like that uh but he was not willing to listen he just did not want to listen caught my hand twisted it pinned me to the ground and man just that that feeling cuz like he's like he's like 40 kg is bigger than me i was like shit there's nothing i can do cuz here's what he did he twisted my right hand i'm a righty okay he twisted my right hand there's no self defense i can do and he breaks my glasses okay and my nose but i, I because my glasses were gone i couldn't see anything okay yeah. And, and honestly that's that's a great ad for lasik okay anybody can hit you on your glasses any time uh <laughs> but like uh, i'm just there and he's going at it he's constantly hitting my face and uh uh this nice woman uh you know one of the street dwellers she recognizes us she ran in the middle and you know uh, god bless her you know she was maybe like 21 22 she's way weaker than him she stood in the middle and she was like bhaiya ko mat maro which was great for me and you know maybe that made him step back for a second that was great for me because i got time to get up i ran straight to the car uh my car and i locked the car then he started to open the car he got another friend banging the door open and like in that yeah, moment i was just that also that, he was like, behind yeah and on that moment i was just thinking like how far is this is this going to go like like you know are you understanding cuz like right now he did this to me now when i'm not around what's he going to do to the dogs so yeah. i backed the car up uh i uh, i got my family and uh, 
you know, because I couldn't see anything. I'm literally holding my glasses with a broken hand and I'm driving like this. We called the cops. The cops uh, took him in. Kandivi police station, we went there. We live in town, so uh, we went to Kandivi police station. Uh, the cops were very cooperative, everything. For whoever was watching this interview, I want you to know, the cops themselves told me that I know you were trying to keep the peace by not complaining about the previous things, but even for minor things, you should complain to the cops. Because then we have it on record that he has harassed you six times before and now the seventh time he has even assaulted you. Right. Right. So the cops said never feel afraid to complain because even though you're trying to keep the peace, the other person is going to do something at some point, which might lead to this. Like if I would have complained the first six times, maybe I, am, I would have a fine nose now. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I actually wanted, so one very interesting thing was the fact you said that you never engage with these people because you don't know what will like, what they'll do to the dogs. So like, I thought that was a very interesting, like, a good perspective because mm-hmm. in the heat of the moment you might actually end up arguing with them or something but you have to think about the animal which is the priority exactly yeah yeah exactly yeah and uh, then again this thing that you should even report the smallest of incidents so like do you have any other um, tips or like you know anything that your experience in feeding animals if you associate yourself with people for animals pfa uh, you get a feeding card so you know, you get to show that, Hey, I have a feeding, I have a feeder's card. I am already within my capa- uh, legal capacity to feed, but now I also have a feeder's card to show that I am within the mm-hmm. feeding, uh, uh, within the legal capacity to feed outside of that. You know, I think the only recourse is that any slight amount of, uh, threat should be immediately reported to the cops. But, you know, like one thing I still like is how you still managed, like the incident itself was very terrifying, but you still managed to find uh, the least bit of like humor out of it. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Not everyone can do that. So, um, can you talk? Some may say it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, (laughs) that too. (laughs) So, so this is, these are like um, larger incidents, but... uh, some other small passive harassment incidents like that might also be happening to feeders. Have you ever encountered something like that? Always, uh, always, uh, which is why just read up on your feed, feeders laws. People should know that, you know, uh, what you're doing in terms of feeding, what is within your rights. So, you know, if, because people often think that, Oh, uh, this dog barks at night and keeps, uh, and that spoils my sleep or that spoils the time I'm watching Kapil Sharma. It's you got to let them know that, dude, this, I'm doing what is within the law. This dog is here within his rights. Uh, so, you know, everybody just needs to know the laws because, uh, often when you know your law, you know that, you know, how much of a panga the other person is taking, you know, that look, I'm on the right side. I'm not doing anything illegal. I, the cops are going to be on my side. The system is going to be on my side. So it's always good to let people know that I know the law. If you think you can threaten me, that's fine. You are doing everything that's outside the law with these threats. So recently, uh, it was only recently that animal cruelty laws were amended. And like now there's a fine of Mm -hmm. 75,000 rupees if you actually end up killing the animal. And there's imprisonment also. But still incidents like um, like the recent one where um, a dog was cut by a marble cutter and all of that, those still keep on happening. Yeah, yeah, so do you think these laws are enough? Do like there are laws against terrorism, but there are still terrorists everywhere in the world. Yeah. Uh, I, the fact that there is a law, the fact that there is going to be an example made out of people is uh, enough deterrent to at least... Uh, stop a bunch of crimes to happen against these animals. Mm. Uh, everything new that's come in terms of animal cruelty is actually pretty good. Too. Like, like you know, as we've as you discussed, they've increased the fine. You know, because yeah. earlier people used to just get away with like, no, oh, I'll pay fifty rupees, I'll get away with it. They've increased the fine. I don't think. I mean, look, there's a billion laws for a billion things, man. Mm. Uh, I feel like what they're doing right now with animal laws is good. It's good. People have to be held accountable. Only when people feel like, like, oh, if I do this action, I will be held accountable. Do they think twice before doing the action? Uh, just feed a starving dog. Uh, people are being cruel to a dog. Remove your camera. Take a video of that and show it to the cops because uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Thank you so much for being here.